Lloyd, what is your background in cybersecurity and how did you actually get to work in the field? Yep, thanks. Thanks, Christy, for the question. Uh, so, yeah, again, very happy for the for this session today. I think it's going to be useful for whoever is uh, viewing this this video. So I started cybersecurity about, say, um, 17 years ago, you know, when I was still like 14. Wow. So, uh, yeah, they sort of built some websites and uh, some of the websites got hacked really quickly. <laughs> and uh, that's, when, that's when I really wanted to find out more. And uh, back then, you know, they had this... Uh, this technology called Internet Relay Chat. And uh, there was one particular forum. I'm not sure if you use it also. IRC, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And then there was uh, some uh, channel, I forgot what you call it, or some uh, thread. And uh, they were actually a bunch of hackers there. And uh, I was just connecting to them and then seeing how they did it. So uh, first script I built was uh, on brute force. I mean, that's the simplest way to get started. Uh, whichever language you're using, whichever program you're using. And then I had some chance to uh, take some cybersecurity diplomas as well as a computing uh, degree and uh, learn a lot about um, programming and database systems and, and so on. So that was pretty exciting. And I had a great chance to join a, a decent tech company. Uh, so they have global presence and uh, I got into the cybersecurity business unit. So that's where we had a chance to, to actually work with a lot of uh, regional headquarters and global companies in this part of the world. Uh, because Singapore is usually the headquarter uh, for many of these large companies. So we have a chance to work there with the chief information security officers, uh, many large scale uh, cybersecurity projects to, to stop and, and pre protect against uh, many of these uh, hackers. So pretty exciting so far, yeah. So um, this actually means that you have, uh, you started with uh, cybersecurity, you started getting into the field like 17 years ago, and then you, you actually got the job like you have work related experience like for more than 10 years or so? Uh, actually about maybe five years of work experience. Yeah, so, so in Singapore, you have to um, go into military service for two years for all males. So uh, maybe that is a bit more on the physical security side. So uh, if you consider that as, as, as part of a uh, domain of cybersecurity, so maybe about seven years in total. Yeah, so it's so pretty exciting. Yep. What is your current job? So uh, I'm actually a cybersecurity salesperson. So okay. I actually sell cybersecurity technology uh, to many of these uh, large companies or mid-sized companies. So I think that's a, that's a little uh, different background uh, in terms of skill sets, domains. So uh, I, I work very closely with uh, CIOs, Chief Information Officers, uh, Chief Information Security Officers, and their team uh, across infrastructure and security team, networking team, database team, about how they can secure their, their infrastructure against cyber threats. And uh, I think this is maybe a, a little more different uh, because the, the, the discussion is always on the very strategic level how they can stop, say, um, state-funded hackers, how they can stop uh, espionage. So uh, definitely on a higher level uh, discussion. And the, all the technical stuff I do is uh, to, to also work directly with some of the engineers as well as the consultants in our team uh, when we are trying to work with uh, many of these decision makers about how they are going to strategize, how they will build many of these cybersecurity defenses uh, against many of these different uh, cyber threats. Yep. So, so yeah, my job is a cybersecurity salesperson. Yep. Yeah, but you do love the technical stuff, right? Yeah. So, uh, the technical stuff is, uh, I think, is is very very useful. Uh, I think it's the place where the demand is. Uh, I think I saw your Udemy courses; those have a great take up rates. And I think that the the industry is moving to a position where they recognize that the skill set come from a lot of technical background people. And uh, if you have skills in Python, which is super huge demand now, and then if you have skills on cybersecurity with Python, uh, everyone is going to be looking for you. Yeah. If you want to gain an edge over other cybersecurity professionals, take my Python for Pentesters course and uh, learn how to leverage the power of Python in penetration testing and cybersecurity. Link in the description.